guys welcome back to my channel in case you are new to my channel my name is diamond mine if you are new and you are not a subscriber yet definitely make sure you become a part of the gang and hit that subscribe button below so you can be notified every time new videos are dropping so it's going to be all types of new stuff coming to my channel so definitely make sure you are a subscriber and also make sure you are a part of the notification gang so you never miss a video i don't know what exactly this video is going to be to be honest with you because i don't know if it's going to be a haul or if it's going to be like a favorites video because all of these products I picked up a couple of weeks ago and I've been using them every single day and I freaking love them. So I don't know what it's going to be. So we shall see. Okay, I had to step back a little bit. I felt like y'all was just too close, just too up in my personal space. So I had to zoom out a little bit. So yeah, um, in this video, I'm just going to share with you guys a couple of new items that recently dropped and some things that i've been really really loving so first off let's talk about what's all going on on my face right now because i've been loving this makeup look lately i haven't been sharing it on social media or anything like that because i really haven't been posting like that but i've been trying out a new makeup routine and I really think I found something that I actually do love. You know, I love Fenty Beauty. I'm forever rocking the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Most of you guys already know what's on my face, you know, before even asking. But um, I have like five or six different foundations in my stash that I've tried out over the last year. And I decided to pick back up the Becca, what is this? The Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. This is what I'm actually wearing today and I fell in love all over again with this foundation. I don't know the reason why, I do know. I stopped wearing this because Fenty Beauty came out. I can't remember if I've done a review on this foundation or not, but I know I talked about it like on social media and Snapchat for a couple of months about how much I love this foundation and it is a creamy consistency. It's perfect for oily girls. I'm in the color Amber, by the way. This is my winter shade. This is a full coverage foundation but it does not make you look like you have on makeup like it does not make you look made up so i was also on the market for a new concealer because i was just kind of over a lot of the products i was using um i'm the type of girl where if i find something that i really do like i stick to it but lately i've been getting bored with a lot of my makeup products <laughs> so i've just been researching different things and i decided to try the kevin aquan skin enhancer um my favorite girl on social media lyra galore she wears this and i just love how her makeup looks all the time i did get the color 11 this is a highlighting color now this is on the expensive side i think it was around 50 dollars, but it is so much in here guys it's no way you're going to use this ever like you're not going to use all this up ever you're going to have this for a while um this is a 0.63 uh, ounce and the coverage on this thing is crazy. I found that using that concealer alone conceals so much. It's like a it's really like a foundation. It gives you 100% full coverage. And that's another thing with this product. It does not take a whole lot. If you use way too much, girl, you're going to be blending for years i'm actually wearing it today and i can honestly tell a difference with my highlighting sometimes when i have on concealer it doesn't blend out as smooth and this actually blends out really really smooth so anybody who is on the market for a concealer that's also going to be like a foundation i would definitely suggest the kevin aquan but i would suggest that you go into your sephora and test out like the different shades because it's a very limited amount of shades but i'm quite sure you can find the perfect highlighting shade so, moving on to mark jacobs mark jacobs has um a limited edition uh, what is this? I don't know if it's their holiday edition. 
Oh, I picked up two items from that edition and the first item is this Omega Glaze All Over Luminizer and packaging is so freaking pretty. The gold packaging is to die for the super size compact, the big mirror, like I love it. I love that Marc Jacobs gives like these big compacts. It reminds me of Tom Ford bronzers. Love it. When I saw this, I was like, okay, this is probably something I already got at home already. Already. but when I swatched it this is nothing like what I have at home and I'm actually wearing it now I don't know if you guys can see that but it's more it's like a gold but then it's like a silver like I cannot explain it but it's so freaking pretty I don't know if you guys can see that it is absolutely gorgeous. I would highly suggest you get your hands on this. Sephora is having a 20% out sale, so definitely take advantage of some of these products so you can save yourself some money because we all know these products don't go on sale. So The next thing I picked up from the Marc Jacob limited edition line is the lip gloss. You guys know Sugar Sugar is my all-time favorite lip gloss. Anytime you see a lip gloss on me, it's always Marc Jacob's Sugar Sugar. So I decided to pick up this one, and this is in the color 368 Shine A Light. It looks gold, but when you put it on your lips, it's a really nice shiny gloss. And it doesn't come off gold. It comes out very, very clear. But pretty for everyday wear. Um, when you're up close on it, you can see the gold glitter or whatever is that's in here you can definitely see it but it's not like you have glitter on your lips like you don't look crazy but the packaging is also to die for it's gold it has Marc Jacob on it I mean you can't go wrong with Marc Jacobs honestly and the next couple of items oh and then let me talk about my eyebrows so you guys know that I always complain about having oily eyebrows I always ask you guys what can I do for my oily eyebrows and one thing that I have changed up a little bit is my concealer that I use underneath my brows to shape my brows. I have started using the NARS Matte Concealer and I love this. If you have oily eyebrows or oily skin, period, you will love this concealer. This is their matte concealer. I got the color medium dark one. This is in biscuit and I'm actually wearing it today. I'm always wearing it. <laughs> okay. I'm never wearing any other concealer underneath my brows. So for those of you guys who are living under a rock and do not follow Rihanna on social media, she dropped like four lip paints the same week, really, basically. And I picked up all of them except for the black one. Uh, so um, I'm going to share with you guys all the ones that I have. So these are my four Stunna lip paints. I actually love every single color. Um, honestly, I was very hesitant about the color I have on right now, which is uncuffed. I was very, very hesitant because me and Peach has a very love-hate relationship. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. So I was very surprised today to see that it's actually working and it's actually serving looks. So again, this is Unveil. It's a brown that looks like that. And her lip paints are not drying at all. Um, they have a very moisturizing texture to them and they do transfer. They really do, which kind of sucks. And with the red, I noticed that it is a little bit more runny. As you can see, it's a very bright, vibrant red. This one is uncuffed, like I said, which is the peachy color that I have on now. Definitely use a lip liner. I don't know if you guys can see that. I probably should have did a different swatch. I'm sorry, guys. I lied. I am actually wearing Unbutton. I'm sorry. <laughs> And this is Unbuttoned, which is like a peachy nude. And another beauty favorite that I've been loving. And, I, and this mascara I've actually been wearing for a couple of years, but I replaced it with my YSL Shock Mascara and fell in love with that. 
but I picked this back up and I'm back in love again this is the MAC mascara now I love to use this for my bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are not as full and fabulous but this mascara definitely helps bring out the fullness of my lashes at the bottom and I really do love it now my YSL shock mascara which is this one it does nothing to my bottom lash line like absolutely nothing but my top lash line it does a really really good job on making my lashes longer curving them and making them appear more fuller um just because i wear lashes my natural lashes have pretty much come all out so yeah i think that's pretty much it with all of my favorites and my new items that i picked up from sephora a couple of weeks ago so if you have any of these items and you love them as much as I do, definitely let me know below. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm forgetting something. Okay. Using a beauty blender to blend out my foundation has really been a staple in my foundation routine lately. And I was on the hunt for a beauty blender that was a little bit more affordable. I love the original beauty blender, but $20 for a beauty blender and... It really doesn't have a lot of different ways you can use it to really get in those areas of your face. I just really don't really like it anymore. Um, and like I said, it is kind of expensive for something that you're going to throw away within two months. Now, after you clean them for so many times, they start to break apart or whatever. And I always believe that bacteria is trapped in those sponges regardless of how many times you clean them. I know this has been on the market for a very long time, but I just never decided to pick it up until I saw it at Walmart. And it's the Real Technique Beauty Blender. I, this is a clean one because mine is over there dirty and I used it for today. And I actually picked up like several more and I picked this one up the other day because it has a travel size on it and I love being able to put <laughs> I love being able to put my beauty blenders in a travel case when I am traveling so it just protects it from germs so this is pretty much the beauty blender and it does get really really big now the thing that I like about the real technique beauty blender is this flat edge which I also loved about the Rihanna um, beauty blender as well is it had a flat edge and it had a fat uh, round edge this edge I love to use for blending out my concealer because it gets flat right up against my uh, under eye and I can go right in between where my nose is to contour my nose a little bit without a problem normally I would have to squeeze the beauty blender to get really underneath my eyes and really in between the corner of my eyes and my nose and it would drive me crazy sometimes but I actually do love that it gives me a two-in-one beauty blender so yeah, just thought I should mention that. And the simple fact that the beauty blenders are only $5. I mean, come on. $5? I can get with that. If you have any of these items, definitely make sure you let me know below in the comment section. If you have any other products that I maybe should try out that you are loving, definitely let me know below in the comment section. If you want to see more hauls or more favorite videos, because I don't know what I'm going to name this video, Definitely let me know below in the comment section. And of course, you can always let me know by thumbing up this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family. And till next time, bye.